California. Sunny Southern California. We're out mine hunting today. Let's go see what we can find. We're still working our way up the wash looking for a mine. Well, we're headed up towards the mine. Here we are at the Humbug Mill. We were below the uh, Humbug Mine. It was a gold mine from the uh, early 1900s. May have been started in the late 1800s. Let's go a little higher up the mountain and see what we find. This is above the mill. This looks like it was a tram, intermediate tram loading area. There's a nice waste pile up here with an ore chute and then a tram tower at the top of the hill that you can see on the horizon. Here's an open stope. Really? Yep. We got Frank from exploring abandoned mines and unusual places with us today. Here comes Julie Mountain Goatening up the Humbug Mine Hill. We're going to head up to the top of the hill here where there's the tower and theoretically another added. We're up here at a, uh, looks like a collapsed tram tower, most likely. There's a large water pipe going all the way up the mountain. And I believe there's more tram towers at the top. And then down below here we have a couple of big waste rock piles. We came upon part of a tram carriage, or whatever you want to call it. Here's a roller. It doesn't roll anymore. Looks like the cable may have passed through this also. But here was a, another engine. This is a six cylinder, straight six. Here we go into the portal for the Humbug Mine. Let's go see what we find in here, YouTubers. What's over here to the left? Looks like a big chute. And a little down working. Huh. There's a big chute. There's a ladder going down. This had a um, windlass on it. You can see the, the braces for the windlass. That doesn't go down too far, only about 15 feet. Another chute going straight ahead. Look at the leather they used for, for lining the windlass. Like a bearing. Oh, yeah, there's a ladder going up. Straight up. Another big chute coming in. Oh, it got warm all of a sudden. There's a ladder. Man me with a ladder. Still in perfect shape. Another chute. Boy, a lot of chutes, huh? And yet another chute. 5R or VR. Some timberings. There's a right turn. Looks like it goes somewhere. Straight ahead is pinching down a little bit. More ladders and chutes and timbers. Here's the big slab that they were working the vein up against this slab. And here's kind of the vein material. Another shoot. And another manway next to the chute. Widens out here a little bit. 
Looks like there might have been a, something going through the floor here, so be careful. Definitely got the big slab here with the contact zone on our left. Okay, we're back to where that there was a side tunnel here going to the right as you're coming in. We took a left because we were going out. Looks like it goes a little ways. And here's the slab again, the slab rock. And here are some hangers for ventilation pipe or electric wires or whatever else they wanted to hang in here. They've got these spaced out. Here's a piece of ventilation pipe still hanging. It's a round uh, sheet metal ductwork type of pipe. So the vent pipe is in very good shape. It's still very solid. In fact, it barely even wiggles if you wiggle it. There's kind of a V-shaped or a A-frame shape to this working. I think some of these pieces of lumber on the floor are cross ties for the ore car tracks. Here's a little extra timbering in this area. Must have been a little unstable. Or else it's a shaft or something coming in, no? Some gobbing. The number 23 written in headlamp soot. I, I think later on there's a lot of timbering back here, like trapezoid type timbering towards the end. And then just, it just dead ends. I'm totally confused. Looks like a little split here. One way goes left. And oh, explosives locker. one way goes right. Oh, oh, that's a tunnel. This looks like a short side drift here. Got some miners names down there. Let me just make sure it's nothing more than just a... Oh yeah, you. I remember that. I've seen that before. So we're making a sharp left and then almost a U-turn and then it looks like it's going to go back to the right again. The vent pipe is still here. They've got a tar and um, canvas on all the joints. To, to seal the joints. Well, it's still winding around here. Yeah. It's making, it's drifting. It's making a left and then a right. They're following the drift. There's this pretty straight section for a while. And the big slab over here on the right. Well, we've, we've followed this back a long ways without any timbering and now we must be coming to an unstable part because there's a lot of timbering up here. So here's the reason for the timbering. A lot of this was unstable. Here's on top of the timbering.
Mine's in pretty good shape though. Nothing burned and nothing painted. A lot of timbering in here. Shape. Right. Cool. That's the strongest shape apparently, right? I guess. They lock in. It just looks cool. It does. It's that classic mine look. Ouch. Uh, this wall is really pushing in here. You see that? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's starting to fall in. Whatever gave way, we'd be crushing it. Julie's leading the way here. Frank's in the rear. Oh yeah. He's back there, you can hear that voice. <laughs> this metal ventilation tube is also kind of a it's, it's still in, in place. It's in good shape, isn't it? Yeah. And the joints are interesting. Yeah, the joints are I've tight. Seen that in well, they spent a lot of work putting that the joints in there. Looks like some load counts here. You're almost at the end. Oh, the pipe came down. Got crushed. Yeah, the pipe's not in the great shape like it was earlier. Timbering's done with. Bill Carter in a greasing bucket, I'm sure. Yep, yeah. should grease the rails. The rails that have been removed. Well, this is going on for quite a while. I haven't videoed all of it. I guess this is kind of what they're following here. It's interesting, isn't it? A lot of miners graffiti in here. Well, and it may be things that are information of the workings for the miners to, to use for locations. Here's a little different looking vein here. There's a carol box. Well, we've reached the end of the drift. There's some miners graffiti here in 1940. P.E. Nat Murphy from 1940. Bert Colvin from 1937. And that's the end of it. So I'll pace it back out and see what we have here. But that's the end of this working. We are back to where the timbering begins. Frank ought to be around here somewhere. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Frank was involved in a collapse. Oh my God. 
He's been killed. Frank, Julie, give him our mouth to mouth. <laughs> so in this particular area, the, the rib of the mine is caving in a little bit. And the timbers are buckling. And it says slow here. And it says slow up here too, SLO. But you can see here where they've... It's either worn away from the ore cars hitting it, or they've had to notch it out a little bit. And same thing over here, Tom, on this side. Oh, this yeah. Side right here. So it's either worn off or it's been notched. Yeah, I'm not sure. Here's here's some cool... This is a stamp with the this lumber camp Amboy. Oh, yeah. H-O-Nolte. Isn't that something? Amboy. Same thing down there. That was the, uh, the lumber mill. Yeah. Cool. And then here it says now, sap it. Oh, that means put her back in gear and step on it, right? I guess, yeah. Because it said slow back there. Yeah, now sap it. Here come Julie and Frank back there, making the long trip up here. Is it collapsy? Uh, <laughs> collapsy. Frank, you're teasing me now. <laughs>